Hey, recently decided to buy a 2600, and it just made me realize, you know, the games don't really look that good. I want something that looks so much better, but not as good as an NES. I just want something which is a perfect balance between looking like garbage and looking amazing. I thought that was a doorstop. The Atari 7800 is the middle child of Atari's line of consoles. And like the middle child of a family, nobody cares about it. So, why? The system competed with the NES and the Sega Master System. It sold around 4 million units, which sounds pretty good. But compared to the competition, it was lacking. You know what? Let's give the console some love. And let's take a look at some of the games which were on the system. So I'm not covering all the games, but just probably the most well-known ones. And keep in mind that I have not played the majority of these games on the 7800, so yeah, prepare to see me suck. So anyways, let's begin with... First game up is Ball Blazer. It's kind of a futuristic game of soccer. Basically, you're two like cones and you're throwing a ball. I don't think I need to explain soccer, but yeah, that's basically the game. It's actually pretty fun. This game was on the 5800, but now it has way better visuals and an actually usable controller. That's great. That's all I can say about this game. It's a pretty good game, though. And we have Centipede. This is a pretty easy game to get into. I don't think I need to explain it. Basically, the centipede is going down the screen, and well, you have to shoot it. Keeps on going smaller and smaller more times you shoot it. It starts out pretty easy, but it can get pretty difficult. Then we have Desert Falcon, a space shooter. It has this kind of weird perspective. It's trying to be kind of 3D. You can walk on the ground, and that's all I need to say about that. But it's. A uh, decent shoot 'em up. Oh, just shoot down whatever's in the air, dodge buildings. It's a typical shoot 'em up. Dig dug. Well, it's simple. Kill all the enemies to progress to the next stage. It can be pretty difficult since they go through the ground, and if you're not good like me. You can kind of get cornered by all of them, especially since you can only attack one at a time. It's a pretty good game on the system. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as the NES version, but hey, it's still Dick Dug. Donkey Kong. Okay, we just talk about how bad the audio is. It doesn't sound good. It really doesn't. That's... Primarily because the 7800 has the same sound chip as the 2600 since it's backwards compatible. And that shows quite a lot. The audio is pretty bad in most of these games. Some games like Ball Blazer have a sound chip built into it, but very few games I'm pretty sure on the system don't have anything. But, a uh, rather good note, the game's pretty fun. It's Donkey Kong, the start off to Mario's adventure, where they later save the industry. It's kind of weird having a Nintendo game on an Atari system, which was their competitor to the NES at the time. So, yeah, that's kind of weird, but hey, you can't go wrong with Donkey Kong. Besides the sound, please, if you play this game, play it on me, it's, it's awful. Galaga. Galaga is a shoot em up, which is really good. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as the 
NES version, but it's still really good. I mean, yeah, it's Galaga. It's self-explanatory. Everybody could get into this game pretty easily. And it's just a fun time to just go around and shoot down whatever those creatures are. And, I mean, it still sounds dreadful, but hey, at least it's not as bad as the next game, Jinx. This game, you should never play with the sound on. And seriously, your ears probably would hurt after listening to it for even like a second. It is really annoying. But let's not talk about the sound and talk about the game itself. It is kind of weird. It's kind of like Breakout, but you can move all the way around. Uh, it has a time limit. It's really weird. I, I don't know what it is. This is our original game on the system, I think. I'm pretty sure that this is only on this system. I don't know. If you want to get into 7800 library, just skip this game. It sucks. It really does. I mean, the audio is just awful. Like, I mean, avoid it. Avoid this game. It's literally a pile of like, just go away. But let's go off of that and head into Joust. This is a fun game. Of course, I suck at it, but hey, it's Joust. The graphics look really good. I pop all of them on the head, and well, you must collect those eggs before they spawn into another Joust thing. Or burb with a person on it. Don't question that, but it, it's, it works. And let's lead into the game that basically copied it, Mario Bros. It, it, it's basically just, don't even try. And seriously, look at them back to back. I'm pretty sure that the game, the gameplay is exactly the same. I already kind of need the bop turtles on the, or whatever they're called, shell creepers, I think. I don't know, on most modern remixes of the game, it's replaced with spinies, but I don't know. You're supposed to bop them down and then hit them. That's how Mario Bros. works. And it's pretty simple that this game was inspired by Joust. I don't need to go into it too far, but yeah, the game is definitely inspired by Joust. But anyways, let's stop talking about arcades and go back to another cool original title. Here is Tower Toppler. This is trying to be a 3D game. You're climbing a 3D tower, which has all these stuff. You can fall down, but you only die when you reach the bottom pits. You have a lot of stuff that's trying to kill you, and you just need to get to the top. It's pretty cool with the 3D graphics, or kind of 3D graphics. It's a pretty good game on the system. And I don't know, it's just pretty fun. This is Rampage. I just want to tell you one thing. For some reason on RetroArch, my controller was set up for controller 1 and 2, so yeah. Keep in mind this for the next two games. They're going to be a bit different because of this. But with Rampage, it's pretty fun. Basically, you destroy buildings. That's the game. It's a natural disaster, or you're the disaster. It's a fun game to mess around in. It's a good game, it's basically the arcade version. And seriously, it's Rampage. What else do you want me to say? It says that they made a movie about it. Why did they do that? Robotron 2084. Wow, this game is pretty good because my control scheme, it is dreadful. 
I mean seriously. Because of this, you typically on a game like this, which is a twin stick shooter, you would move with one joystick and aim with the other. But since my controllers are hooked up, I need the move in where I move, I aim. So, yeah. If you look at this without telling me, you think, wow, you really suck at the game. And first off, yeah, I do. But I mean, also at the same time, I can foresee this control scheme. And this also goes into the game Xenophobe. Basically, you have to wipe a ship full of aliens. And yeah. You just shoot down some weird aliens. There's a bit of rarity. My controller kind of made it do this, so yeah, that's kind of an issue. It's a fun game. I will say that make sure that if you do do two-player, make sure that you get an actual second controller and you don't have to deal with what I had to do. I mean, yeah, I had a bit more firepower. Now, like everybody, after wiping out an entire race of aliens, the best thing to do is to play some golf. There is Mean 18 Golf. Wait. Accolade, you know, that company rings a bell. Oh yeah, this game is starting to suck. No, well, it's actually pretty good. It's a neat little golf game. For some reason, my ball always, always goes to the south. I think this may be an issue with the ROM, but I don't know. You can see by the gameplay that I'm trying to even take advantage of this weirdness and failing. It takes some time to get used to, but once you do, it's pretty fun. It's a neat and relaxing golf game. But what if you like golf, but also stabbing people? First up, what the f And second up, let's play some ninja golf. Ninja golf is It's amazing. This game is great. I finally found a gem on this system. It's incredible. This game is really good. Basically, you play some golf and then you beat up some people. It's a beat em up in a golf game in the same thing. And you still kinda have to get used to it. It's a pretty difficult game even on normal. Like, I mean, seriously, I go to the whole I have to fight the boss and end up wasting all my lives on it. Like seriously, I think I've only gotten to the second hole like once. And I played it for like five hours. So yeah, it's a pretty difficult game, but a fun one at that. You control this ninja with golfs and gets assassinated by other ninjas and some moles. But hey, I don't know, I haven't been in golf course, maybe that's a typical thing. But yeah, this is probably maybe the best game on the system. The 7800s game library. These games, the majority of them were pretty good. Some were bad, some sounded like And some were overall probably the best game. Overall, these are probably the games that I pick up if you want the system. The, but if you are thinking about the system, make sure that you get check out some of those homebrew games. 7800 homebrew games are really good. I didn't show off any homebrew games this time, mostly because I was trying to show the actual retail lineup. But anyways, I'm gonna go play some more Ninja Golf